the Egyptian we brought some Egyptian birds Egyptian eagles as a, uh, a background oh oh I'm sorry I have, we have to talk with the production team because they're not now I see they're not the Egyptian eagles uh, you have to change this <laughs> South American birds. I'm just kidding. We don't have any Egyptian birds. I'm just uh, joking with my friends here. Uh, so um, interesting, not um, overwhelming, uh, but interesting. Peter Rustinov. Um, alas, he's uh, he's just a supporting role. Uh, he's not seen nowhere the hero, the Egyptian. Um, there's Victor Martyr, whose name I can't. Um, hemp hot hemp mem hemp mem hemp hot hum hemp hot hemp mem hemp hot hemp or something. Um, he's the commander of the army, uh, and I, I haven't seen the actor in the title role um, he appears an unknown entity at least for, for this viewer um, Peter Ustinov might have been a better choice he has different stature he's, he's so much better known not by the audience of today uh, but then also maybe for that time uh, it was a reversal of not a fortune but of of, of uh, <coughs> uh, fame um, whatever the cause of this is um, the film has um, an interesting story there is this doctor who um, helps cure people he is so good, in fact, that they think uh, these are miracles. He brings people from the brink of death uh, with such efficiency that it seems beyond um, normal, ordinary. It seems out of this world. And anticipating uh, at the end of the film, they say, and this is, mm, I don't know, a, a long time. Maybe 18, cen 18 centuries, 1,800 years of b before Christ. Uh, but the reference does explain some of the intentions, some of the... Birds of prey in the end. We have to sacrifice them at the end. Maybe now? Let's, let's have this... Uh, and then we will get some sharing on the internet. Um, in that, this Egyptian, this doctor, may be a precursor, maybe a uh, one of the would-be saints announcing uh, Jesus, um, uh, an angel, a saintly figure uh, that that uh, does a lot of good, uh, sacrifice, avoids uh, temptation, avoids um, doing harm, even if that would mean his propulsion to the very top. So, um, what happens in Braun lines is something like this. Um, he, um, at one point, he returns to Egypt after an ex sort of an exile, like again, uh, like Moses uh, to some extent. And uh, this is because he would, in his journeys, uh, accumulating wealth. He says that uh, because he takes care of the rich. With that, he has also some. What term you know? self-criticism and um, atonement and uh, what do you call that there's also some attrition and um, I don't know there's a religious word for that penitence maybe 
So he's doing some penitence when he's telling the story. So with the Hittites, if that's how you say the name, um, he ha he makes an uh, 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 interesting and dangerous discovery. He finds that they use iron. They have discovered a uh, new metal, which represent a, a deadly uh, peril for the Egyptians. And, and even if he claims to the leader there that he's, he doesn't have a country, and Egypt is least of all his place, still he has a, a love for the, for the country and he returns and he, he, he gets to the top, he, he speaks with Victor Mathieu, Memhep Potter, whatever his name was, and says, look, they have this weapon, you, you fight with me, and they do, and he, the weapon he has cuts through the, cuts through the uh, sword that the Egyptian uses because they're still with copper or something like that, and they also talk to the pharaoh, uh, about this and uh, the commander of the army wants to attack before they use this metal widely and they have the furnaces and everything else uh, and um, the pharaoh though has suffered a transformation he's he's into <laughs> into Christianity before its time, uh, almost two millennia before. He's kind, he's preaching, uh, if not in these words, love and understanding. And, uh, still, he is not for violence. So, he, no, you mean, Commander, you want, you want me to give you uh, permission to kill, to commit a... a if gen genocide is not the word he uses to kill people, he's 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 not. He's seen as weak. There's a plot. There's a scheme to eliminate him because he's not doing any good anymore. And then the doctor is 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 um, uh, marked to give him the poison because that's not something people do with a pharaoh. But maybe he's related as a again the Moses story as perhaps the son of the pharaoh and a potential successor because uh, when he was born he was placed on the Nile in a basket Moses oh uh, Moses yes hmm? and um, I was going to say Jesus <laughs> shows how much no I won't I mean I know that everybody knows that it was just a slip of the tongue so plus I have there's somebody doing some work in now uh, I have to be careful. Uh, he doesn't have to know the story. It's only for you, a selected audience of one. So, uh, there's a scheme there. And some... Some... Some role model of this Egyptian, indeed.